Now, I just want to say this has been the most challenging project I've ever worked on. We've had uh, a dedicated team like none that I've, I've worked on in the past. You know, we've worked through all of these challenges together and we've done it in the spirit of, of, of partnership with our industry partners as well as our stakeholders in this project and, and we're all very proud to deliver a facility of this magnitude that's going to serve our warriors in, for the next 50 years. So my name is Peter Mater. I'm the district's medical program manager and I'm responsible for oversight of the entire medical program that we execute here in the district um, of which is Fort Bliss Hospital Replacement Project is one of our largest hospitals um, and it's been one of our Army Corps of Engineers priorities since we broke ground on the actual complex back in June of 2013. The construction mission for this hospital including building an actual world-class health facility it was going to consist of a seven-story hospital tower and it was going to have five supporting buildings. It'll have an inpatient clinic, actually two inpatient clinics and outpatient clinics, um, clinical investigation building, central utility plant, two ACPs which are access control points and then all the surface parking that goes along with the hospital. So what makes this building state-of-the-art is that the design adopted a lot of world-class elements and concepts uh, heavily on the evidence-based design piece and that focuses on the care of the patient as well as the care of the staff that, that's watching for the patients. Um, we also centered a lot on family-centered care concepts and also aesthetically pleasing and culturally aligned facilities that mesh well with the El Paso community as well as Fort Bliss itself. Um, some of the outstanding features that we included in this are the sound absorbing ceiling tiles, um, soft flooring to account for patient comfort and, and staff comfort. Uh, we've got mounted ceiling lifts to assist the uh, staff in moving patients um, throughout the, their rooms. Um, it also helps ease stress on the bodies and, um, and the medical personnel helps reduce injuries. So that was a big one. Uh, all of the patient rooms are private. Uh, they're designed with um, built-in space for family members to help the healing process. Aesthetically, the interior and the exterior are designed with native stones and colors and patterns and textures that are found throughout the southwest area, especially in El Paso. Um, and it captures the culture and the unique geography of the El Paso area. Um, the windows are designed to provide for maximum light, and, as well as the scenic views of the mountains, which again helps with the healing process. And we've carried this concept throughout all of the buildings within the complex. So this has been a really challenging project. and. You know, that's not uncommon with a mega project, which is, which is what this really is. Um, in a lot of these mega projects, you know, especially one that's a state-of-the-art facility like we have and as complex as this, you're going to have changes in cost. Um, you're going to have changes related to some of the design um, within the hospital, and you're going to have some construction delays. That being said, we overcame a lot of those challenges, and when we turn over the keys to our MedCom partners in February, we're going to be able to say with pride that we've delivered and been a part of providing the new William Beaumont Army Medical Center as a world-class facility to promote an environment of care, to support our Army Medical Command's um, casualty care, as well as providing a state-of-the-art health care facility for the warriors and their families.